Good morning all, CamelbackTrading.org coming to you this Friday morning, October 16th, and we're looking at the SPY ETF's market profile here on Window Trader. So we have option expiration today, but I'd like to talk a little bit to begin with what didn't happen in the market as opposed to what did. We always ask a lot of people to say, well, what happened in the market? And just as important as what didn't happen. And for me, if we look at the last couple of days, we came out of an inside day to the downside, double distribution day. And then yesterday, we gapped lower, a large gap. Rest of the week long's getting out, shorts piling in. But what didn't happen? Well, when you get a gap of that magnitude, and then basically don't see the open again and retrace it, what didn't happen is the short sellers didn't get any help from a, the longer time frame, plain and simple. The rest of the week longs got out, shorts piling in, but to get extension, acceleration, volume, tempo to the downside, you would have needed the other time frame to come in. Didn't happen. And once it didn't happen, that was all it wrote, all she wrote for the short sellers. Never saw the opening, took it back up and out with a price probe and a trend day up. And right now we find ourselves, basically what I said yesterday, trading right in the lower distribution from the 14th, which is kind of where I thought we would be trading yesterday. But we, we detoured for six and a half hours, or six hours, before we finally came back up into it. So let's go over a destination and a game plan. So for the upside, I'm going to give um, yesterday's high, since there's still 70 minutes to go prior to the opening and... I'm not sure if the gap will hold or not. We'll give it on both sides. So right now, 348.02, which is yesterday's high. Then we have the point of control where we're trading right now pre-market at 348.25. We were nine wide there. Then we have our overnight high right now of 348.61. Above that, we have the single prints, which you should have all this, 349.31 to 78. That's the upper end of the lower distribution so we're treating this as two separate days so the bull's goal is to come out of m's high which would be like taking out another day's high to fill those single prints and get into the upper distribution where that daily high is 351.93 for the downside right now i'll use yesterday's high again in case we gap higher of 348.02 then we have the price probe, L's high of 347.73. Single prints, very small, 347.08, get filled at 03. And then our overnight low is right below that, a penny below that, 347.02. Afternoon pullback low of 345.77 and 343.13, which is yesterday's low. So what's the game plan? Well, we know how M period becomes a huge factor in the following days. Right now, yesterday, late in the day, we dipped our toe into it, but closed right below it. They're attempting again right at the point of control. So obviously, if we open above yesterday's high, hold the gap and or hold the price probe, then we should go and trade the rest of M's range. And then we see what happens at the top of the lower distribution. If you're not able to get really accepted into M, and we gap higher, but we come right back in and back below L's high, well, then again, there's not much there until back down to M's low here, and you tra probably trade all of M's range from yesterday, fill the single prints, take out the overnight low, and then we see what happens at value high. So it's going to be a tale of two M periods again. Which one gets accepted to trade? That's the goal. So what is the game plan? If we gap higher, and again, it's got to be a reasonable gap. If we end up gapping closer to M's high from the 14th, I'm not taking a long play for two reasons. Number one, the main goal might be to just trade all of M. Number two, you do have the single prints right above there. It's all context, all context on a gap. But if we gap higher by about 20 cents or so, 30 cents or so, your risk rewards a lot better. You can get out either if the gap fills or take a little more heat and see if the price probe holds. It's only about 25, 30 cents. So I would take a long. I'd be out if we get accepted below L's high. If we don't get accepted below there, then again, we might have already gotten a point of control 
but my next goal would be M's high. On the flip side, if we are to open higher in the next hour and change near M's high from that day, I would probably take a put play and use the single print fill as my out. If we open in the next hour below L's high, then I would also look to take possibly a small put play to see if we at least trade the rest of M's range. It wasn't that big yesterday. Just remember that. It wasn't that big. So if you open closer to M's low, I'm not looking to take a short down there. Then I'll wait for more market-generated information. Again, if you're in camelbacktrading.org's voice channel room, you will be getting all these trade ideas and play-by-play -play throughout the entire day from me and all the other excellent traders in the room. Um, I'm not going to show you the charts. It looks like uh, my money's being transferred. I hope. I don't know if it's going to be in there by today or Monday, but I'm hoping to. So my everything's screwed up on my uh, chart site. But the bottom line is this. If we take out yesterday's high, we're going to do exactly what I said would be very healthy. We'll stop the one-time framing down in the daily and put us firmly into balance. You can use a five-day balance. You could use this high and yesterday's low. It would be a six-day balance, including today. So that's the goal for the bulls. Remember, the weekly is healthy. The weekly is one time framing up. We tested that weekly balance high, totally bounced off it. We even closed above last week's high for now. That would be important. That would be nice to close above last week's high today. And it would put you firmly in a, a six-day balance which is what you wanted, get some sideways trading, and then hopefully resume bull at some point. Good luck trading today. Have a great day, and we'll recap the day and the week at 4 p.m.